Hi, this is JP from Not Allowed Silver Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions CG playthrough. And we are continuing the Mutant, uh, the Mutant Genesis uh, playthroughs. And this time we are playing the second scenario from the uh, box. And it is the Night of the Sentinels. We are playing this scenario with Colossus, uh, Peter Rasputin. And uh, Peter has a protection deck. So uh, as I'm looking, there are a lot of side schemes in play. Um, basically, Operation Zero Tolerance uh, we can ignore because, uh, or the threat on it we can ignore because it has permanent, so we can't remove that from play. It also, if we look at it, it provides us a new, with a new uh, loss control. So if there are X custom cards under this scheme, the player loses the game. Uh, and it is X is three more than the number of players, so it's four. So if we hit four cards underneath this card, we lose. Uh, we have the Sentinel uh, in play, it has uh, 16 health and tough. Then uh, Knight of the Sentinels um, gives the Operation zero, zero Tolerance the permanent. Force response after threat is placed here. If there is at least five threats here, the first player places the top card of their deck based down under operation zero tolerance, then remove uh, five threats from here uh, or this scheme uh, per player. So uh, we have a timer. So this puts cards underneath this, uh, which we can't stop. Then we have the mutants at the mall side scheme in play also during, uh, because of the setup instructions and when defeated the first player says the encounter deck and discard pile uh, for a sentinel minion and reveals it flip this card uh, and uh, put jubilee into play discard any other versions of jubilee from play and there's a jubilee ally behind this uh, then we have abduction protocols so uh, hinder two so fortress uh, uh, at the start, victory to uh, when defeated, the player who defeats this scheme takes one random set aside captive ally, which are here, and puts it into play under their control. So, a lot going on in this scenario. Uh, Colossus starts with organic steel in play, and I just placed it in play already. So, uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, this is my blind playthrough for this scenario, so not. Uh, having high hopes to, <laughs> of defeating it straight away. Uh, it seems really uh, hard for a protection uh, through solo player, but we'll see how this goes, so let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin. So I have shoveled the decks, uh, done the setup, as so we'll draw our opening hand. So we already have done the setup uh, here. So one, two, three, four, five, six and uh, I know that setup should be I think setup uh, should be done after we draw our opening hands but I don't uh, do that that way because it just ruins some games and I would have to start over if I have uh, the all of the organic steel cards in my uh, starting hand so that would suck okay so now we have protective training and bait and switch, the X jet powerful punch, bait and switch powerful punch. Um, we'll keep one bait and switch. Oh, no, this is the main scheme, so we'll just get rid of those. We get rid of that. We get rid of that. Um, not looking good. We have to mulligan a lot. So I'll keep the powerful punches. So one, two, three, four. Uh, armor up. Mutant protectors. Uh, Pietro Studio and Mutant Protector. So let's see uh, how we can deal with all of this, uh, all of these side schemes. So I think I'll play Pietro Studio. Uh, I'll exhaust it to discard cards until we hit uh, uh, Colossus card. We get Maid of Rage. 
that's everything we want to do in uh, Alter Ego. So we'll flip. So uh, Colossus can have one additional tough status card. So tough status cards are a thing with uh, Colossus. Uh, Skin of Steel response after you change to this form, give Colossus a tough status card. Okay. Now... Uh, mutant Protectors is useless, we don't have any allies in hand. Armor Up is useless, well... Yeah. Mm. Can't play both Power Punches, so that's a shame. And we don't have any way to remove Threat from anywhere, so that's a shame also. So we'll just uh, punch off the top. So uh, we'll do the Maid of Raid. No, no, we don't. Because we don't. Let's back up. We'll first uh, powerful punch. Do we want to do that either? Yeah. So we powerful punch. That cost us two. We remove the top. Then we'll hit for two damage, but we'll play Maid of Rage when you. Make a basic attack, discard tough status card from your hero, you get plus 6 attack, and this attack gains overkill, so we remove the tough. Then after a tough card is discarded from your Colossus, exhaust this card and remove one steel counter from it, give Colossus a tough status card. We'll do that. So we hit for 8 damage. Uh, Let's see, we'll just put one of this here, and that is it, mm. nothing else we can do, we'll keep the power punch in hand, we ready up, we draw back up to four, that is a measly hand size, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, Titanium Muscles, uh, we want that in play next round maybe, but we'll go to the villain phase, we add two threat to the main scheme because of the mutants at the mall boost icon. Uh, we'll, the, the sentinel attacks, I won't even depend. So we remove the top, we'll remove this, and we'll get a tough. And the encounter card for this round is Sentinel Mark 6, uh, Quick Strike. So, unfortunately, we uh, lose the tough status card. So, that's a shame because we wanted to play the Maid of Rage also next round. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, we can't play the Maid of Rage because. We don't have a tough status card. So instead I will... I play Titanium Muscles. And uh, I'll keep the... Made of Rage in hand. And we'll hit for 3 damage. We are, we are not doing well with the threat removal here. But it is what it is. So that's everything. We'll flip. And we'll use this to discard cards until we get... Uh, we'll, we'll get Steel Fists. Uh, that, that's actually a good one if we... I need to get a tough status card. And uh, yeah, that's everything. So we ready up. We draw back up to six. Bloodproof protector. 
Perseverance, uh, Polaris, and Iron Wheel. So not looking good for threat removal, but it is what it is. Um, let's see. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add two threat to the main scheme. So there's five now, so we have to put one card. I'm actually going to loop because... Yeah, we lose one organic steel, which is a shame. <laughs> we really wanted to get that card. So we are uh, one quarter away from losing. And uh, Sentinel Watch for two. Plus two is four and the Sentinel Watch. So we remove five and lose another card which is shadow and steel so that's not that bad but we are halfway from losing the game that is, this is not looking good i think uh, this is a bad matchup for this uh, rebuild protection deck then we get an encounter card it is uh, target for targeted for elimination and that's your identity if a copy of targeted for elimination is not attached to you otherwise this card can search while you are engaged with the Sentinel minion, you cannot charge, uh, change from hero form to alter ego form. Action, exhaust your identity, discard this card. Okay, well, I think we are just going to head up to hero mode and uh, try to do the best we can there. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, um, we'll do this. Uh, another steel fist. Mm. We'll flip, we'll gain a tough status card. What do we want to do? I uh, will play Perseverance also when we flip. And uh, we discard one steel fist to play it, so we get another tough status card. And uh, hmm. we'll exhaust the titanium muscles to generate two resources and. Uh, and does it need to be. Yeah, it can be used for anything. We could still fist uh, the Sentinel minion. How do I want to do this? So, um, I think uh, we are going to play Steel Fists with that to defeat this enemy. So we go to phase 2, Steady Toughness. And uh, when revealed the first player says the encounter deck can discard file for a copy of the abduction protocol, side scheme and uh, reveals it. Till it's uh, other player based on encounter cards so that just by but we get another abduction protocols uh, we are probably trying just to not care about those and try to rush down this sentinel before we die i think that's the only way we can win this scenario by rushing the villain we don't have the thwart mechanics or cards in this deck to um, get that. So I'll just play it over here. Okay. It comes into play with four threats. Mm. It's a shame because I really wanted to see what these guys can do, but uh, it looks like we're not going to get any of them into play. 
Okay, well. Mm, now I have to think. Uh, yeah, I'll remove. The, oh, uh, let's see. We have 18 health on the Sentinel here. That's a lot. Okay, well, we'll save the Maid of Rage for later. Uh, we'll hit the top off. Mm, I'll ready my hero. Uh, yeah, so uh, Bulletproof Protector. Um, give your hero two tough status card or ready your hero. I'll ready my hero. Then I will hit this and uh, play Made of Rage. So I'll hit for 9 damage. Okay, so 9 damage left. And uh, we discard one tough status card. Then. Uh, Nothing else to do. I feel like I'm not going to play these. No, actually we'll keep Polaris. I'll discard the Iron Wheel. We ready up. We draw back up to four. We'll get Genius, uh, Professor X, uh, Protective Training and Polaris. We'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we add two threat to the main scheme. First sentinel attacks and uh, put sentinel mark four into play. Engage with you. Guard patrol. Well, of course. That uh, shuts us down completely. <laughs> we can't get uh, past that before. Uh, to the main sentinel we need to defeat. Uh, well. We'll play it out. I think this is a lost game already, but it is what it is. So the other Sentinel at... Oh yeah, uh, we lose the tough status card. For the second one, I'm just taking the damage. So two damage. And then this hits for two damage. And the encounter card for this round is Relentless Robots. So each player engaged with a Sentinel minion cannot work this game. And uh, this gives a plus one. Uh, encounter card. It has three threats on it. I'm actually running out of the smaller threat tokens, but maybe we end the game before that. But we have like uh, we have one, two, three, four, five side schemes in play. Uh, give me Jessica Jones right about now. That would be really good. But yeah, um, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, we have to try and rush down the Sentinel somehow. At least this guy doesn't have a um, tough on it, so we can defeat it somehow. I'll play Polaris with Professor X and uh, Genius. Um, after Polaris enters play, give an X-Men character a tough status card. So we give Colossus a tough. We'll hit this guy away. Next round we can try to. And I will add uh, protective training. So attach to the X-Men ally, max one training upgrade for ally. Attach ally gets plus three hit points. Okay. And that's everything we ready up. We draw four, one, two, three, four. Mm, uh, protective training, Nightcrawler, armor up, bulletproof protector. That that is good. 
So, uh, we'll go to the villain phase. The sentinel attacks, I'll just take it to Colossus. Uh, so, three. So, we'll remove the top. This attacks, I'll take it with Colossus. Five, six, seven, eight. We'll get an link. Two encounter cards. Oh, yeah, uh, I forgot to add a threat here. So, you're at five. So, actually, this pops. <laughs> we are one car away from losing. Uh, so, this goes underneath a disperse urine. So, tough. Uh, we are one card away on the operation zero tolerance from losing. So, we need to defeat this enemy next round. But, yeah, we'll get the encounter card. So, Sentinel Mark 5. When revealed, if target, targeted for elimination, is attached to your identity center on Mark 5, attacks you even if you are in outer ego form. Otherwise, search and counter deck and discard pile, both targeted for elimination, and that, that's it. So, this enemy hits for 3 damage. Sentinel Mark 3 toughness. Uh, when revealed, search and counter deck and discard pile for the energy barrier attachment, and that's it for this minion. Yeah. <laughs> not not looking good. So uh, energy barrier. Let's see. Where is an energy barrier? Here it is. So this guy has plus two damage. Uh well we are actually able to defeat the enemy maybe next round. Or uh, I think we can deal six Seven, eight. Oh dear, we are one damage short. Uh, but yeah, unless we play Nightcrawler. But we'll see. So this guy has energy barrier. Okay. Well, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay. Well. Mm, Um, is there any way to get the tough bonus? No, unfortunately not. Actually, there is. But is it is that enough? So if we go to uh, alter, oh yeah, we can't go to alter ego. Damn it! So close. So uh, Polaris hits for two damage. Yeah, uh, we're just going to run one damage short here. Uh, Colossus hits for three damage. Mm. Uh, actually, no. We can stall for one more turn. So, let's see. I'll play Knight, uh, the Bulletproof Protector. We'll uh, get two tough status cards. We'll use two, those two. And armored up to play Nightcrawler. And Nightcrawler will hit for two damage. And uh, that is it. We are one damage away. Uh, two damage away. We can't use this for anything. So, uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll discard it for something better. We'll ready up. Oh yeah, Polaris has uh, one damage now. Uh, we ready up. And we draw four. One, two, three, four. I'm really surprised if we are able to win this. Defensive energy, energy. Shadow Cat, Steel Fist. So if we survive the villain phase, we are definitely going to win. We'll go to the villain phase. We add three threats to the main scheme. Uh, I mean two threats to the main scheme. Uh, Sentinel attacks, I'll take it with Colossus. We'll lose tough. Uh, this 
attacks, we'll take it with Colossus. We lose the top. This attacks, uh, we'll take it with Colossus. Uh, we are down to two. And this last one attacks, I'll take it with Polaris. And we'll take two, but uh, we have the protected training in play. So we have uh, uh, three more health on it. So it's all up to these two encounter cards. Targeted for elimination. This searches Sentinel Mark 4. Okay, well, we can handle that. It has guard and patrol. We have to defeat it before we can hit the Sentinel. And mutated, mutant detected. When revealed, choose place the top card of your deck face down under the top of zero turns. We can't do that. Villain and each minion engage with you, attacks you. Okay, so we dive to that. Oh my god. That was so close. If that card would have been any other card, probably, uh, we could have won next round. So, uh, we... Uh, well, let's see. Still have uh, two health here. So, uh, we'll defend against this. So, three against two. Attach this card to the villain. Uh, villain gets plus eight hit points. Okay, that is that. But uh, we only take one damage. We are still alive. And uh, yeah, then we die. Nothing we can do about that, unfortunately. So, um,. One sentinel hits, I will uh, cancel the attack. Return night crawler to my hand. This attack, uh, this attack, then this attacks and kills off Colossus. So, unfortunately, we were so close, but no cigar. Still, uh, I'm surprised that uh, with Colossus, there seems to be a way to defeat this just. Uh, we need to ignore all of the side schemes and try to rush down the villain as fast as possible. And, uh, well, this time we got unlucky on the last uh, encounter card of the game, and that lost us the game. And uh, we were only one damage away from defeating the enemy. But, uh, yeah, nothing we can do. That, that was a good try on uh, my very first try on this scenario. So, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.